What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm helping you guys decide which raw Indian hair texture you should buy. When it comes to raw Indian hair, it's important to know that there are three textures that you will come across. Raw Indian straight, raw Indian wavy, and raw Indian curly. Now, all three of these textures are generally just different variations of waves. Indians do not have bone straight hair, meaning that the straight hair will be a light wave, the wavy hair will be more of a natural wave, which is actually what I'm wearing right now, and the curly hair will be a mixture of waves and curls. Now, when deciding upon which texture you should buy, you should definitely take into consideration how much maintenance you're willing or looking to put into your hair extensions. If you are somebody that is looking for very low maintenance hair, in my opinion, I highly recommend that you consider the straight hair. Outside the realm of raw Indian hair, when we are talking about hair extensions in general, straight hair is always going to be the easiest to maintain. By easiest to maintain, I mean that straight hair usually only requires that you straighten it and then you are good to go. Now in terms of raw Indian straight hair, as I mentioned earlier, raw Indian straight hair comes with a slight wave. So you can actually wear it in its natural texture, which again is a light wave, or you can go ahead and flat iron it with a flat iron. And that is generally all you will need to do in terms of maintaining your raw Indian straight hair. Now, if you would like to add curls into your hair, as I've shown you guys in previous videos, you can definitely go in with a heat tool, a curling iron, and curl your hair, or go in with flexi rods to add nice, beautiful, luscious curls. The second easiest texture to maintain, in my opinion, is wavy hair. Just like JHA's raw Indian straight hair, this hair comes with a natural wave to it. That being said, you can definitely wear this hair in its natural texture. As a matter of fact, this is the natural texture. While wearing your wavy hair in its natural texture, you may notice that it becomes dry in a few days. That being said, you will need to go in with some water and a spray bottle and just spray this hair down. Other than that, our wavy hair is no different than our straight hair. It can be styled with heat, flexi rods, it can be flat ironed, it can be curled. You can pretty much do anything you would like to it. Just be mindful that your wavy hair can get dry within a few days. And in order to revive and restore the moisture, you will need to go in with water. Now the last and most high maintenance texture, in my opinion, is JHA's Raw Indian Curly Hair. Now curly hair in general is a lot more high maintenance than wavy or straight hair. And I say that because curly hair requires moisture. When wearing your JHA Raw Indian Curly Hair, you may may notice that your hair is dry and frizzy. In order to combat the dryness and frizziness, water and a spray bottle is going to be your best friend. Whenever it comes to the curly hair, I highly recommend that you apply water on a daily basis. Raw Indian curly hair gets big, it gets poofy, and it truly does act like natural human curly hair. Expect your raw Indian curly hair to be thick. Expect your raw Indian curly hair to require a lot more attention. It's one of those textures that I highly recommend that you do not purchase unless you are an avid hair extension consumer, and at that, an avid raw hair extension consumer. In my opinion, raw Indian curly hair takes some getting used to. It also takes some time to maintain. And if you're looking for a texture that you can just get up and go with, raw Indian curly hair may not be for you. When it comes to your raw Indian wavy or straight hair, you may even be able to get away without washing it as often as I've advised. However, when it comes to raw Indian curly hair, you cannot get away without washing it. In order for your raw Indian curly hair to look its best and be its best, it will need moisture, it will need water, and you will need to actually care and maintain for your raw Indian curly hair extensions. Now, I don't say any of this to discourage you from purchasing JHA's raw Indian curly hair. I truly just want you to be aware of what it is that you will be signing up for when you do purchase JHA's raw Indian curly hair. Our curly hair is beautiful and our curls are beautiful. It's just something that takes some getting used to and I really wanna make sure that you are prepared and well aware of what it is that you will be purchasing. No matter if you have raw Indian straight, wavy, or curly hair extensions, you will be required to wash your bundles on a regular basis. I highly recommend that you co-wash your bundles once a week. By co-washing, I mean strictly using conditioner and this will help ensure that your bundles stay nice and moisturized. I also recommend that every two weeks you go in with a shampoo and conditioner. Please make sure that they are moisturizing shampoos and conditioner and this will not only cleanse your bundles but also make sure that they are again staying moisturized. 
Besides washing your hair regularly, you are also going to want to make sure that you are sleeping with a satin bonnet. This satin bonnet is going to be your best friend whenever it comes to taking care of your hair extensions while you are sleeping. Satin does a great job of protecting your hair while you are asleep as well as making sure that your hair stays moisturized. Fabrics such as cotton and polyester actually have the tendency to strip your hair of moisture, drying out your hair while you are asleep. So using a satin bonnet will help ensure that your hair again stays moisturized. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope these tips were helpful. If you are interested in shopping Juicy Hair Affair for temptingly appealing raw Indian hair, please be sure to check the description box below. I have a link that will actually grant you 20% off your first purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Juicy Hair Affair. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay blessed and stay juicy.